Welcome to uh, Crypto's Report. I am Ben. Um, we're going to go through a couple of uh, top news of the week, uh, especially the um, Ethereum ETF got approved, but the devil is in the details. Um, they might challenge it. So, uh, but however, um, we uh, you know it's it's the best time for uh, retail investors now to get in before the institutions. Um, it it take uh, a few weeks for institutions to really get their hands dirty with Ethereum. Um, so that's really um, one of the, really the top news of the week. And then we have gold hitting all time high, stocks hitting all time high. It's all about uh, inflation conflicts. We've been saying the same thing um, for for many many years. Uh, but um, the, the, you know, the worst of fiat is yet to come in in uh, in the next few years. And then of course that will bring um, the best of cryptos. Uh, it's yet to come. We've got to be a little bit patient. Um, for this uh, cycle, uh, it, it, it might last longer, and uh, we can certainly call this a super cycle uh, uh, of cryptos. You know, the four-year cycle of Bitcoin is playing out, and it's on track. Uh, you know, we expect to see uh, Ethereum somewhere in the range of fifteen thousand or twenty thousand. That's our projection. Bitcoin plus or minus two hundred thousand um, dollars per. So um, and then um, you, we, you know, we we have to really watch out for uh, uh, China, China and Taiwan conflict right there, um, and a peace fire, a, a ceasefire between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, good and bad for 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 uh, you know for for those conflicts. Um, now we have uh, Bitcoin e ETFs, Ethereum's ETF. So the next logical thing will be um, Solana and Chainlink. But it's what's best for the industry is to get the top five or ten tokens, and then um, you know apply for a, uh, a crypto ETFs instead of you know going each coin and token individually. Uh, it's just a suggestion. You know some of the, the industry leaders can. They could certainly, uh, you know, sit, sit down together, have a good plan, um, and then uh, you know apply uh, in, in the U.S. and then of course the rest of the world will follow because uh, because of the dominance of dollars. N right now, the dominance of dollars is about um, uh, sixty percent to seventy percent. So what it means is anyone is you anyone's using the dollars outside of the U.S. they have double inflation. So they have to carry in the inflation of the dollars. Uh, most leaders or most people they don't know that they don't realize that, but that's what it is. But for the American people, the only inflation is the U.S. dollars. But for people outside using the U.S. dollars, um, you know, as as their uh, as a, as a, a mean of exchange. For for goods and services, uh, for trading, uh, for for imports, export, for example, that's another story. Okay, all right. And then um, last but not least, um, was uh, Gala got hacked, but the team responded very very uh, very quick. So um, uh, they still have very good potential to to recover recover their uh, to another all time high of, of Gala. All right. So um, and then uh, we what we put in the report was the um, um, the, the dominance of Bitcoin will be will be uh, uh, slowing down. So we see a see a breakdown of dominance of Bitcoin. Uh, we see the retest of uh, of uh, the total uh, 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 market cap uh, for cryptos retest it successfully. So what it means is it's up from here. A very very bullish week uh, and bullish month uh, next. And then, uh, of course, um, Ethereum is uh, consolidated in a four-hour time frame, so it will hit all-time high probably before Bitcoin, uh, due to the recent news of of uh, ETFs got approval. Uh, so any any uh, news coming out of that uh, will just you know amplify uh, you know, the pump. And then, of course, Bitcoin uh, will hit all-time high. Really, you know, those will. It'll be anytime soon, and then many others uh, will actually follow. Many altcoins will follow, like like um, many many you know low caps, uh, large caps, for example. Um, one of the ones that we um, talked about last time 
we did the analysis on, on Jasmine, the Japanese Bitcoin. It pumped, it pumped at about, uh, let's see, um, two cents, two cents all the way to uh, close, close to three cents. So that's not bad, not bad for a quick analysis last time uh, with, um, with, with Jasmine. And it, of course, it will recover fully. All right, so that's huge potential. Uh, it'll hit another all time high. So that's our projection of this bull run. Be patient with it um, and uh, get there. All right, um, nothing to be scared of, nothing to be afraid of. Because uh, you could see the yen is falling, fr fr like it, it falls freely without, and then even the government intervenes. Uh, it, it only lasts a few days, and then it's back to uh, the, the panic sell and of the yen again. So, you know, the Japs, the Japs, uh, Japanese people will have a backup plan, uh, and that is cryptos. You know, um, gold, cryptos, and then possibly stock. But uh, we we gotta see, gotta see. Um, all right, so uh, that, and then um, we uh, let's discuss about um, the work diversifying your portfolio just a little bit so we have a uh, the dominance of Bitcoin still still very huge uh, Ethereum and then the rest of the altcoins but uh, Solana is really the ones that we've been calling to flip Ethereum possibly not if, it, if it's not this cycle it's gonna be the next one and that's a sure thing you know within cryptos you know we have maxes you know like people like Michael Seller say hey you, you know just hold a Bitcoin and then you know forget about everything else no uh, innovations uh, it doesn't work that way okay um, you know in order for a corner the token to continue uh, uh, to, to, to appreciate its potential and values then we need innovations uh, for Bitcoin it has that you know first move advantage and now it's pretty safe for institutions to get in so it will get bigger however in the long run um, you know, we need a lot of innovations, not only you know on all coins, but also on Bitcoin to continue, uh, you know, that race of who's going to be the, the top one, who's going to be the second one. All right. So now you know it's uh, it's very clear that Ethereum got a, 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 a killer, and that is Solana, and then of course many others uh, like 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 uh, TON Ton uh, from uh, um, uh, Telegram, for example. You know those those are the very potential ones that <coughs> you can actually hoard for a, a, a long time. Uh, you know, could be a couple of cycles, could be could be one cycle. That's really the least uh, that you can that you can hold on to it. Um, so, and then uh, the, the dominance, right? So we've been uh, if if you got the right one, you really don't have to diversify. Uh, you know, like three or five, and, and stick to it. For example, uh, y you could see it right here. You know, if you got Google, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, uh, and Meta, for example, at the very, very beginning of Amazon, um, then you you really don't have to you know forget about the rest of the of the ones. You know, let the traders you know battle it out instead. Um, uh, the same thing with cryptos, for example. If you hit it. You know, like like uh, you hear stories about you know the guy, uh, you know, uh, get paid pay two years ago with eighty dollars. Now it's worth two million dollars. Uh, it's it's more about luck. However, the point is, the hoarders will make the most money without doing nothing. Okay, uh, if they got the right one. Remember, the right the right one is the key. Uh, the investors will get a very good piece, and then the traders will get quick quick uh, profits very quick on a daily on an hourly uh, on a weekly for example so and then we need all of those you know we need for a liquid market to perform well we need uh, traders investors hoarders and everyone else in between um, and that's what makes uh, the, 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 uh, the crypto very interesting 24-7 uh, and, and very liquid you know we need that liquidity all right all right so let's get back to um, the ones that we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of analysis right here people let's see what it's uh, going to do here so we see a um, we uh, take a look at the four hour time frame let's hope that it's a uh, four hour time frame and you we could see it we see a little bit of a, of a pattern 
the key with uh, technical analysis is to be able to see the pattern uh, and if it's playing out on a technical level then of course it, you know it, it will carry that out however events and news will happen at any time and if you know you can be able to catch those uh, then it's it's a perfect bow okay sometimes for example for meme tokens when it's very small uh, uh, b below a 10 million uh, market cap or maybe even below a hundred million you know technical analysis really nothing because uh, it doesn't apply to meme tokens can go you know parabolic uh, it can go beyond technical analysis but for um, uh, uh, large gaps uh, you know, sometimes we have to apply the, the um, uh, technical analysis to make sure that we understand what's going on uh, based on uh, the news the events uh, you know the token uh, tokenomics of, of such uh, of such all right so and the volumes on chain and off chain it's just a lot all right so we're going to be using very very fundamental analysis right here uh, we gave uh, people below four cents um, a week ago uh, possibly 10 days seven days or 10 days and uh, projection was uh, 2x so it was uh, below four cents now it's sitting around um, eight cents a little bit above so you know like two or three x uh, so far however if uh, we if we taken a look at two hours and four hours we see a couple of patterns which we're gonna do some drawings and then if you take a look at the um, the weekly um, right so we're gonna take a look at weekly and, and, and see the um, see the uh, uh, the candle all right so see the, f the each candle it pumped about um, uh, 2x okay and and this token is really uh, very much related to uh, to meme all right meme token so you can see the fluctuation is huge uh, you know if you can get in at right almost at the bottom you can do leverage uh, uh, margins or futures but uh, uh, it's much safer with with spots so each candle you could see it um, is about 2x so you know next week if it's gonna play out we expect another 2x so what does that mean that means now it's sitting right at 7 cents a little bit above 7.5 7.3 uh, cent as a support then it's gonna go to that 14 cents and 15 cents okay um, we, we caught it right around under 4 cents um, and, and we thought we projected that it's gonna double now it's beyond that double uh, now we're gonna we're gonna see if it's because next week it's gonna be very bullish and next month as well so um, the weekly is is very very good it looks really really good however uh, you gotta play uh, gotta do the, the risk management properly to make sure if you trade futures um, you have a to, to protect your, your capital because it can it can certainly go against you at any moment, any time, based on market conditions, based on um, uh, the, the, the the sentiment of, of traders, investors, such and such. Um, all right, so if we uh, if we go back to uh, possibly it, it's playing out that uh, that four hour and two hour very very well. So, but two hour would be very uh, very short. So we're gonna do a little bit of analysis on the four hour right here you can see the, the blue flag just a little bit um, it's it's playing out but possibly change the color a little bit here to orange um, a little bit of uh, see it, it got a little bit of uh, uh, a fake breakout for the for some uh, for some uh, area and then uh, uh, see here just a little bit right so that's four hours playing out very well with that uh, correction a little bit of a correction you could see the, the fake uh, breakout right there Let's see just highlight that one All right too short for a, of a time for it to continue and we're gonna see the same exact thing we're gonna possibly see the same exact thing so and it's consolidated in the the, the, the Four hour time frame. Um, see that one possibly. Okay, um, so that's what it's uh, 
and then the support level just gonna draw that support right around uh, 70 um, 7.3 cents um, and we see the uh, uh, the fake uh, this is like really pump and dump a little bit right there um, it's playing out with the with the blue flag with the very good support at uh, 7.3 to 7.5 uh, level uh, so when we take a look at the, uh, uh, the weekly time frame and you know another two acts is really very much expected the market is is good in a good condition it's holding well with the uh, with the uh, uh, support level um, if anything is bad happening you know we have to really uh, that's how that's why you you need to put in stop loss if you trade futures uh, and then the same thing if you, you trade spot so that's what it's gonna be uh, we're gonna gonna wait be a little bit patient uh, if it's playing out we will expect and we are projecting another 2x for um, for people um, all right so that's all to it uh, for now with this report uh, other than that uh, we're gonna as always we're gonna um, publish another one um, next week um, so we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens but uh, the, the, the breakdown of the Bitcoin dominance Bitcoin's got an all-time high, Ethereum got an all-time high, total market cap is bouncing very nicely after the retest successfully on a daily time frame. Um, other than that, not much, not much else, but uh, we, we just keep marching from here. So uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.